Imagine an engine so loud, so raw, and so iconic. It's been banned from neighborhoods, praised by truckers, and still rumbles on in 2025 like it's 1985. The Detroit Diesel 8V92TA, if you know, you know. And if you don't, well, buckle up, because you're about to meet the two-stroke diesel beast that refuses to die. Here's the kicker. This engine shouldn't still be on the road. It's noisy, it's thirsty, and it's old school. But somehow, it's still dominating. Why? Let's break it down. First, what is the 8V92TA? It's an 8-cylinder, V-block, 92 cubic inch per cylinder, turbocharged, and after-cooled two-stroke diesel engine that Detroit Diesel started building in the early 1970s. This wasn't just an engine, it was a statement, a roar from the past that powered buses, fire trucks, military vehicles, and even boats. Now, if you're picturing a tame little machine purring under the hood, forget it. The 8V92TA sounds like a chainsaw got into an argument with a freight train. It's not an engine you start, it's one you unleash. But here's the thing. This mechanical dinosaur still has a heartbeat. Why? Because reliability never goes out of style. This engine wasn't built with fragile sensors or software updates in mind. It was built for one thing, work. And while modern engines need computers to tell them how to breathe, the 8V92TA just needs air, fuel, and a reason to run. You'll still find them in fleets that prioritize durability over flash, in rural areas, and surprisingly often, in industries like agriculture, logging, and marine transport. Why? Because when these engines are maintained right, they just don't quit. Now let's be honest. You wouldn't want one of these in your Tesla unless you really hate your neighbors. But there's something deeply satisfying about a machine that roars to life like a mechanical bull and just goes. Here's the twist. While most two-stroke diesels have faded out, the 8V92TA has carved out a niche cult following. There are online forums dedicated to their restoration, mechanics who treat them like sacred artifacts, entire Facebook groups where the smell of diesel is basically a personality trait. And for good reason. This engine can still pull its weight. Some versions pushed over 500 horsepower. And when it's screaming down a back road pulling 40 tons of steel, it's not just moving cargo, it's making a statement. But how much longer can that statement be heard? Let's talk emissions. Modern EPA regulations have all but outlawed the 8V92TA in city fleets and most over-the-road applications. Even with upgrades, it's tough to make an old two-stroke meet 2025 emission standards. It's the Achilles heel of an otherwise indestructible legend. So how does it survive? Enter. The loophole, off-road use, export markets, private collectors. And get this, some fleets are stockpiling parts just to keep their 8V92s running for the next decade. It's a gritty rebellion against planned obsolescence. Ever try explaining a two-stroke diesel to someone who just paid $120,000 for an electric F-150? It's like handing a rotary phone to a Zoomer. Wait, it makes noise on purpose? But this is the charm of the 8V92TA. It's unapologetically loud, wonderfully inefficient, and completely unforgettable. A perfect example of American engineering from an era when fuel economy was a suggestion, not a requirement. And just when you think it's done, guess what? Another one fires up in a scrapyard in Kansas and pulls a loaded trailer like it's 1983 again. Your music rises for final act. So... What's the future of the 8V92TA? Is it a fading echo of the past, or a middle finger to the future of silent software-driven transport? That depends on people like you. Because whether these machines keep roaring depends not just on parts and fuel, but passion. And maybe that's the most powerful thing about the 8V92TA. It's not just about torque and horsepower. It's about keeping a piece of history alive, one turbocharged revolution at a time. Next time you hear one out there, listen closely. That sound? It's not just diesel, it's defiance. But here's what I didn't tell you. There's one very specific reason the 8V92TA 
still beats some modern diesels in real-world performance. And if you're still watching, you're going to want to hear exactly what that is. Sar cut to E.